and welcome back to Maggie's Kitchen. Today we'll be making this very delicious Hershey's chocolate cake and buttercream frosting. First we're going to get started by washing our hands. First we're going to start with our dry ingredients. We're going to put in two teaspoons of salt, three teaspoons of baking powder, and three teaspoons of baking soda. Next, we're going to put in three and a half cups of cake flour. If you don't have cake flour, any flour will do. Now we're going to put in our last dry ingredient, which is one and a half cups of cocoa. And now we're just going to use our whisk and whisk this up till it's all thoroughly together. So now we've got our wet ingredients. When you have your dry all mixed up, just set it aside. We're going to get another bowl, and I just have my uh, measuring bowl. So I just went ahead and measured two cups of milk in my bowl. And we're just going to add to that four eggs, four teaspoons of vanilla, one, two, three and four and one cup of uh, avocado oil this uh, avocado oil has no taste if you don't mind olive oil which olive oil does have a strong taste you can use olive oil any kind of oil that you want and our last wet ingredient four cups of sugar Now we're just going to get a spatula and just mix this up until it's really thorough. You got everything in there incorporated. Then we'll see you after. Okay, now that we have this all mixed up, our wet ingredients all mixed up, we're going to just pour it into this a little bit at a time as you're mix mixing on our stand mixer. Okay, now that it's done mixing, we're going to add two cups of hot water and mix till it is smooth. So now we've got our pans greased, and since I'm doing this for my sister's birthday tomorrow, I'm going to use special pans, but uh, you can just use 9 by 13 inch pans if you want to, if you have special cake. You might have extra, just use it for whatever you want, cupcakes or anything. I'm just using my scoop just to scoop this out to get it not messy. I'm just going to scoop it into my pants, and I have my pants greased. I melted butter and buttered it with a brush, and you can do the same thing, any kind of buttering method you use. Okay, now that we have our cakes all filled with batter, we're going to heat the oven up at 350 and we're going to put these cakes in for 25 minutes they should be done after that okay so last week i didn't get to do my video because it was my birthday so i had people over friends over and um going back to the cakes uh this time you're not going to use the uh wax paper method i really like that but you're not going to be using that because well you can use it for the nine by eight 13 inch pan but for these if you're doing a really simp like a really um complicated thing pan like I'm using then you're not gonna need that and uh while this is cooking we're gonna get on to the buttercream frosting okay so for our buttercream frosting we have one cup of Crisco we're just gonna put in our bowl And let 
And now we're gonna put in our four cups of powdered sugar, which would be about one pound. And one teaspoon of vanilla with two tablespoons of water. Now we're just gonna mix this up really good until it's all smooth. So I forgot to tell you that um, you gotta mix this. Once you get all of it mixed up, it'll be hard, but you need to mix it for seven to 10 minutes to get it full. Okay, so our frosting is done. And like I said before, I'm doing different kind of cakes. So I'm not gonna be showing how I frost them this time because it's gonna be different. I'm gonna be doing a lot of designs on mine. So I don't think you want me to do a whole long story with that. And um, now I'm, I, sorry. Um, we're gonna do an overhead shot of the frosting and the cakes just to show you what they look like. If they rise too much, just get a um, little spatula cutter, cake cutter like this and kind of cut off the tops. But other than that, please make sure to like and subscribe to this video, check out my channel, and hit that notification bell to get videos, notifications when my videos come up.